Hello and welcome to Good News That Actually Is, where three to five sets you free to thrive. Three to five minute encouragements to help your joy by empowering your soul. I am your host, Tim Ashley. wonder what it felt like to Abraham knowing Sarah was with Abimelech. I wonder what his nights were like. I hope Sarah's all right. I hope he's not violating my wife. I wonder how she feels. I wonder how scared she is. I wonder if Abraham was saying, Lord, Protect Sarah. I, I almost will gamble that to Abraham in that particular moment of circumstance, watching them cart Sarah away and then having to deal with the days and the nights she was absent from him, not knowing what might be happening. I, I wonder if that felt to Abraham like favor. Even when I don't see it, it working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. Sarah's not there. She's in the home of a king of another land. There's no way Abraham can know what's unfolding in the walls of the palace. It's impossible to know. But even when he can't see it, God is working. I submit to you that in your own life, the same thing is true. This is how things work in our situation. See, when you come to Christ in faith, you're made the very righteousness of God and you become a new creation. Now think about that. You have unearned grace and unmerited favor just as Abraham did. We might be hated and even persecuted by those who hate God. We might even be experiencing some difficult circumstances right now in our lives. Maybe something went wrong. Maybe something's happened. You know, maybe something didn't turn out the way you hoped it would. But we can't expect to see the favor of God manifest through others towards us. God makes this happen. And God is at work on our behalf even now, even when it feels like, even when I can't see it happening, I've had to tell people before, I don't think I would do that to me if I were you. And they'd say, why do you say that? I said, because the one who's for me isn't going to like it very much. Thanks for tuning in today. Never forget that you are loved by a faithful God whose obedient son, Jesus Christ, Willingly died on a cross so that you can live today and always from the abundance of his life in you. Please subscribe and share this with others so that they too can experience the three to five that sets you free to thrive. And be sure to tune in next time to Good News That Actually Is. Please visit us at our website, goodnewsthatactuallyis.com. There you'll find transcripts of the program, video files, and other opportunities. We look forward to visiting with you there and ask you to subscribe. Have a great day.